Okay, guys, this is going to be the uh, second video that I have for the uh, Unraid NAS that uh, you guys all apparently love watching. Um, we're going to be adding a cast drive, which in my case is a Samsung Evo 860 500GB SSD. Now, uh, the reason why I went with 500 gigs is sometimes I do download stuff and I get into the two or 300 gig range of transferred data, and that's a necessity for uh, the cache drive to be. So for those of you that don't know about the cache drive, it's a drive that comes ahead of all the main spinning drives, and it could be a spinning drive itself as well, but I'm going to go with SSD for speed. And it basically holds all of your data in the cache drive until it flushes it to the main spinning disks, later out of time, and I think the default time is like 3.40 in the morning or something like that, uh, but you can schedule it and change it, and we'll do all that in here. Um, the reason I have these up is I want to take uh, these couple of videos, so I'm going to do with 18.6 gigs, and I'm going to transfer it to it, the NAS right now at the current speed it's at, um, and note this is at a uh, 2 gigabits a second um, connection, because uh, as you remember in the original video, uh, I do have a, uh, a secondary NIC card in there that I'm uh, utilizing two out of the four uh, connections and technically with the onboard I have five so I could do an upwards of five gigs a second uh, if I decided to upgrade my network. Now uh, this is going to take a second and you see how it's it's bottlenecking here and um, this is what I hope to uh, alleviate with having the SSD drive and I hope that's what actually happens. Um, so while this is loading uh, I'm going to go and grab the SSD and get that ready to go in and we'll fast forward to when this is done. Okay, guys, we came up, and um, it took uh, about 23 when we started, 5.30 now, so it literally took 7 minutes to uh, transfer to 18.6 gigs. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and uh, go into our actual Unraid, so I have that right here, and here's my uh, Unraid setup. Uh, I don't know if I had it in the other video, but this guy named a fat boy, so it's funny. Uh, before we do any changes, we do see that uh, my drive is in, so here he is right here off the... Um, the 9265 8i that I have installed, which is what all of these are installed on, uh, which is the RAID controller. And here we have the 500 gig, and it's showing up. So you'll notice we can't do anything with him uh, until we stop the array. Uh, if you've been using your system for a while, you automatically have the array start, because that's obviously what you want. So we're going to stop the array, and uh, we're going to go through and add it to our uh, cache system, and then do a comparison test. So now we have our array uh, uh, stopped, and we have all the drives. We can change them if we ever wanted to. I do not. And what we're going to do is add him here. And he's in there. And now all we basically need to do is start the array again. So now on here, listed, we have the uh, cache devices. And we see that uh, it's going to need a format. So we need to format this guy because these are SDE that's showing up here, not our SDC, SDD or SDC. So, uh, you know, it's BCDE. So we have to make sure that that's our guy and it's listed as cache. We want to format him. All right. He's formatted. It takes literally like three seconds. And what we're going to do is uh, show that this is uh, good. The uh, device is active. Uh, normal operation. We're showing only a little bit used that was probably on the format side. And then we're actually showing the full uh, 500 gigs free. Okay, now that the cache disk is uh, formatted and ready to go, we actually have to now apply that to our shares. Now, I have uh, only three main shares that are aside from the main ones that uh, I don't really care about, uh, aside from these ISOs that I do. But um, I have my wife's. Uh, she just has random backup stuff in here, but I'll allow it. Uh, we'll go in and do my main, which is where all of my movies and TV shows exist. Uh, using uh, being utilized by the Plex server that I have also running on this, uh, this on RAID. And then I have my own stuff where I uh, don't want my wife to see. Don't tell her. Okay. Now, I want to point out that here in the cache disk, on all these, you can actually click these options and then, you know, uh, see what's going on. We hit yes, which shows that we want any files to be written to the cache disk prior to going to any of the actual pool. And then it's saying provided enough free space exists. If there's insufficient free space, it'll actually just go straight to the array. And then when the uh, mover is invoked, which is what I was talking about earlier, the back-end process that pushes stuff over, uh, that goes about 3, I think it's 3.40 in the AM. 
Um, and that makes it so that uh, you can do all the cache stuff with a very fast drive in the SSD. And then later on, it gets pushed to the array, which theoretically has slower drives, which in my case it does. I'm using 5900 RPM uh, Seagate drives. So now that we're done, um, I'm going to go ahead and initiate the same, uh, you know, test that we did a second ago. So I have my test folder here, and I have my other folder here, the same videos, 18.6. I'm going to see what happens here. So now what you see is that we're actually getting the full bandwidth the entire time. So the cache drive is actually in, in greatly increasing our speed. Uh, we were averaging before we started out 100, then it would go down to like 40, 35, 40, a little bit up to 60. It would just bounce around a little bit, and it took seven to eight minutes. Now this is literally going at line speed that we can go at at this point, which uh, coming from my desktop, it's a one gig link uh, going into the two gig link that exists on the um, on the NAS. And it's beginning the full gigabit a second right there, uh, because that's basically what that number represents at that point. So what uh, what the next step will be is to actually have myself upgrade uh, my desktop. Well, no. So my desktop has a 10 gig NIC in it, which is ridiculous, right? So what it's going to actually do uh, is bottleneck at the one gig, which I have a switch in the room as well. So what I really need to do is to get my network uh, up to date with regards to actually getting uh, the utilization of the, I want to say 5 gigs. I'll probably want to do the full 5 gigs out of this uh, so that we can actually get through there. And what I need to do at that point would be uh, to probably run a couple different lines. So we'll get to that point, and um, I'll probably try to make another video at that time uh, when I get to that point. So the scheduler where we want to be able to go and change how we're going to be doing the parodies and the movers and everything like that, I already have the parody start at uh, 3 a.m. every day. Um, I honestly probably want to do, oh, I'm sorry, every week. My bad. Um, so that happens every Monday at 3 a.m. Um, I should do a little bit earlier than that. Honestly, I'm going to change right now just because I'm thinking about it. Uh, because I, it takes about seven hours to do. It's a pretty big uh, you know, section of how to do everything. So I'm going to change that right now, even though we're doing this about the cash track. So the mover settings here. This is exactly where you do it. So you could change this to do a daily, hourly, whatever you'd like. Daily at 3, 3 o'clock is fine with me. I'm just going to do it. Mover logging is enabled so we have it. Uh, and here you can also manually do it as well. So uh, if you ever need to, if you do a lot of transfers during the day, you can come in here and do a manual mover so that you end up getting the bandwidth that you want to do those transfers later. But uh, from this perspective, this is how you install a cache drive. It's very simple, very easy. And you can immediately see the benefits, right? So um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you like and subscribe, and you guys have a great day.